Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of simple and compound probabilities. This is standard 7.6i in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a six-sided number cube, a die, numbered one through six, tossed 150 times, and the results are shown right here. So how frequent the numbers one through six were tossed. Looks like we've got, it's kind of strange, look at that, six was tossed twice as much as four. Uh, so we need to find the experimental probability. And so let's take a look at that, because that is going to be kind of a key term for us. This whole problem revolves around that term right there. So there are two different types of probabilities. All right, so experimental is what we're looking at. So experimental probabilities are based on what happened, what actually happened. So in this case, we tossed this die 100 and 50 times and so we have all of these results so we are going to make a prediction based on the experimental data and we'll look at that now the other type of probability is theoretical now that's different and that answer is also here so we have to make sure we know the difference based on what should happen so instead of what actually happened, we're like, well, based on the odds, based on the probabilities, how many odd numbers we have, we think it should be this. And sometimes those two don't line up. So we are looking for the experimental probability. So what is the experimental probability that the next toss will result in an odd number? Okay, well, we need to know even and odd. Super simple. We've been doing that since the first grade. So here are my odd numbers. 1, 3, and 5. So the results are 16, 24, and 37. So let's take a look at those real quick. 16, 24, 37. So if I land on any of the one, the threes, or the fives, that is going to result in an odd number. So based on what actually happened the first time I did this 150 times, I'm going to add up these three results here because this is going to tell me how many times out of 150 I actually landed on an odd number, one, three, or five. So that's 10, that's 17. That's going to be two, four, seven. Okay. So 77 out of, and our denominator is going to be how many tosses there were. 77 out of 150 tosses were actually odd numbers. So what is the experimental probability? Well, it's going to be that 77 out of 150. Seems pretty simple, but... That's not the theoretical probability. So we need to make sure we avoid the theoretical probability. Watch this. What should happen? Well, what are the chances that I get an odd number? Well, half. Half the numbers are odd. Half the numbers are even, right? So if I were to toss it 150 times, right, well, I need to make an equivalent fraction with 150 as my denominator. So, right, we're gonna multiply by 75. This is actually my theoretical probability. Now, they're very, very close, but experimental probability never, never uh, is guaranteed to land exactly like the theoretical probability. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. If you flip a coin 100 times, you might not get 50 heads and 50 tails. So. We have to make sure we avoid that theoretical probability. We are going to instead land on this experimental probability of C.